All right, people. What's up, man? A little scientific uh, experimentation going on here. I'm working on getting uh, my 240p consoles to work on the beast downstairs. And in order that to work properly, I need to turn them into a 480p component signal. Okay, it looks like I figured it out. Sort of. I'm halfway there. Did a little testing. This is what I've come up with so far. So this is my results so far. I'll start with this before I unhook everything and bring it downstairs. Okay. So what we got going on here is Dreamcast going into a Toro. Sync signal is being combined. So it's outputting VGA at 480p. Combines the sync. And I'm going to either use that or I got an Xtron that I'll combine the sync. But I think right now, because I, I got the, the external input cable for this Toro, and I don't feel like digging out my Xtron thing, whatever the fuck it was called. R RXI, Xtron RXI. Um, this is out already, so I'm going to bring the Toro down, use that to combine the sync with an uh, external input cable instead of using the one that goes to, to the Dreamcast. But I did this real quick right now just to test. So we got the output going. This goes into my switcher, selector, extra motherfucker, and and then uh, this combined sync. I actually test it. Even the uh, OSSC takes that signal. It don't care if the sync is combined, which is pretty neat. That'll output an HDMI, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is we got the old El Cheapo, fuck, the El Cheapo. RGB motherfucker. How do I get a, how do I get the fucking flash on that? I don't think I don't know if you can. Uh, Alright, well I can't get any light on this right now. I got a light? Alright, well anyway. You know the SCART to YUV, the real cheap one. I'm gonna move the SCART card. It does roll to a degree. Any more light on that? A little bit. Uh, Alright, there. I think you can see it. So, got that going to the cheap scar cart uh, converter thing there, and the output's coming out. So, the, my question was whether the uh, the cheap RGB to component box would actually accept a 480p signal instead of a 240p, which will usually get input to it, and it, it likes it. Okay, so from here on in, next thing is to move everything downstairs and see what we can get. What the plan of attack is to get a Genesis, get my XRGB3 here, get the cheap uh, SCART to component box, and the Toro. And we'll combine the sinks with the Toro. We'll input that. No, no, no. No, it won't. We're going to output the 240p into the XRGB3, use that as a line doubler. Okay, that'll output VGA 480p. Okay, VGA with separate sinks. I'll output that to the Toro. Then the Toro combine the sinks, and then we're gonna output the Toro to the fucking the the cheap SCART to component box. Then the component will go to the Beast downstairs, and she should take 480p without processing it, and give me a really nice fucking picture for my Genesis or any other 16-bit console and then uh, and even with the Toro I could even add scan lines to it because even though it's going to be on a CRT it's HD CRT so they can have scan lines should be interesting when we get down there and get it going I'll start the video up again all right now I thought this was gonna be fucking simple to hook up the beast to my Jenny, which I'm going to use. All right, well, let me use the XI. All right. Simple, my ass. Okay. So we're down in the garage, and I brought down, I think, everything I need. So let's go. Check this out. All right, let's see. What I need. All this shit. Hey. Right. You know that shit? Oh, yeah. This shit do. What we need? 
that shit. That's our GB3. Then we need Exxon RXI. And then we need uh, two more things. Two more fucking thing, adapter things. We got RXIs. We got XRGBs. We got adapters. This 9 to 15 pin. We got power suppliers. We got cables. We got SCART to VGA adapters. We got VGA cables. We got a Genesis control pad. And we have beer. And power strips. And a beast. I'm going to try to hook this up and see what the fuck happens. Alright, folks. It works. Um, we got the XR there running. She's coming over here. The XR GV3 going in there. Line doubling mode, which gives no lag. Three milliseconds, some shit. No lag at all. 640, 480, line double mode. Coming out of there, we'll go over here, hits the Xtron. Use the Xtron to uh, combine the combine the sync signals. Oh, so uh, this uh, YUV converter piece of shit. I forget what the CSY21 or whatever the hell it is there. Generic model. Outputs this component going into the TV over here. All right. And, uh, I don't know, you can't never see this shit, so, I mean, I'll show you, but, you can't tell, but I'll tell you what, bro, that's a fucking sharp picture on this TV, it is very sharp, and it has scan lines, because the XRGB3 gives it scan lines, so it's a beautiful thing. Now, I was going to use the Bayharos Brothers Toro box, but then when I realized, I'm like, how the fuck am I going to power it? as a sync combiner, so I'm just got the X-Tron out, plus you know what, I'll leave it upstairs anyway. Because the XRG3 I'm not really using anymore upstairs, because I have the OSSC, uh, giving me HDMI with no fucking lag going to my TV. And, uh, I wasn't using the XRG, the XRG, the X-Tron RXI up there anymore. And then uh, the SCAR converter, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I used the XRG3 and the SCAR converter upstairs for the two CRTs are up there. But I gotta be honest, they're small pictures. The amount of times I use them, I most of the time just go to the LCD so has a bigger picture. And that's my story, I'm sticking to it. So if you wanna run 240 into a XBR Trinitron, then, uh, do it like this. It's real simple. Yeah. <laughs> it's real fucking simple. But you know what, bro? It works. You know what's cool, too? The RXI. I was able to actually move the picture around a little bit because you can get the center controls. It doesn't do that for overscan. And this doesn't do that for overscan in uh, line double mode. But whatever. This TV doesn't have much overscan. Let's. I think somebody played with this already. It's like all the settings said game on them. So somebody's just using it for gaming. Anyway, folks, I'm out. Thanks for listening, and uh, if you lasted this long through this fucking video, cheers to you, man. Cheers, big ears. Hey, one last thing. Anybody got a crane I could borrow so I could put this fucking beast upstairs? Because I'm liking this motherfucker, man. I like this TV a lot, but this old man is not fucking carrying this shit upstairs. I need a crane, so if you got a crane, let me know, get in touch with me, alright, later man.